Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the woman of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, gentlemen, this particular video is about me. And when I say me, it's about some of my experiences that I had back there in those nine years that I dated over 250 women. And I want to tell you the reasons why I experienced this specific type of situation more than once. In fact, more like probably close to a dozen times. Guys, I met a lot of women during this time. Now, this I'm talking about between the beginning of 2008 and the beginning of 2017. So those nine years, I dated over 250 women, and I asked them many questions. I was very curious about what they want out of men and, of course, what they're getting from being single and the single scene and dating in that particular time. So while I was doing that, of course, some of these women... They're very attractive. They're very persuasive. They're very loving, you might just say. And here's what oftentimes happened. And again, probably close to a dozen times. I would meet somebody. She's very good looking. She seems like she's got her shit together. She's got a great job. She wants to spend some time together. And we move into a relationship fairly quickly. Let's say two, maybe three weeks later, we figure, you know what? We're having a good time. We get along really well. Let's see where this can go. Well, guys, let me give you one example of how moving too fast just blew up in my face. I meet this woman online. She's very attractive. She's athletic. She's basically everything I ever wanted in a woman. And we started spending a lot of time together. That first month, we were almost inseparable. And we talked all the time. We text all the time. We were connected. Now, she had mentioned to me that she was taking a trip to a far away land for an entire month after about that first month that we met. I was happy to drive her to the airport, which I did, said goodbye, and she said she would keep in touch if she could. She would be in an area that had very little access to the internet. And she did, in fact, keep in touch. She would email me nearly every day. And here's the mistake I made, guys. Besides moving too fast in those first 30 days already, and to, besides getting in that loving relationship where you think, hey, this may be the one, we should have taken it really slow. So I'm writing back emails, and I'm telling her how beautiful she is. I'm telling her how wonderful of a person she is. I'm trying to compliment her, and I'm telling her about my feelings and my emotions. My feelings at the time was, this is the one. And I believe what I did is I pushed her away. I picked her up at the airport 30 days later. I rented a beautiful bed and breakfast. And we had a fantastic day and a half after she got home. I then said goodbye. I needed to get back to work. And we started communicating like we had always had. However, something was really weird. And what I mean by that is she didn't communicate as often as she had in that prior 30 days. And I thought that was strange. And so I asked her. And all of a sudden, she was busier. She, she got a lot busier in the sense of with her friends, with her business, and everything else in her life except for me. I'm thinking, well, this is weird. This is really strange. Why? I confronted her. I said, I think you're running away from the relationship. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just busy right now. I've got things to do. I've got some work to do. I've got this. It's like, oh, wow, really? Because none of that was a priority back when we first got together. Gentlemen, here's what happened. I got too assertive with my feelings, with what I was saying to her and all those emails. And because we had moved so fast in those first 30 days, I think she was scared. In fact, she eventually admitted to that, that to me a few years later that she just got scared. I'm like, gosh, I'm sorry. And I had no clue that I was doing this over and over and over and over again. And that's why approximately 12 of those women that I dated during that time ran away in a very short period of time. They got scared. So guys, here's my recommendation. Take your time. You meet a fantastic woman, take your time. Get to know her, sit down with her and have long conversations about the past, 
about her current state of affairs and where she's going in her future. Make sure that your values and your beliefs in life and what you want align with theirs. My suggestion also is if you're really attracted to her, do not jump in the sack for at least three months. Because once we do that, the emotions start rushing both for her as well as for you. So take your time. Know that if she's the one, she won't get away. Sit down and talk. Learn about each other. Make sure your values and your beliefs align. Don't make the mistakes that I did by pursuing them to a point that they got scared. Guys, I hope this advice has really helped you understand a little bit more about relationships and landing the woman of your dreams. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Some great videos on there that you're really going to want to take a look at to help you find that woman of your dreams. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time.